little differentiates the 2020 and 2021 7 Series models. The heated front seat, heated front armrests, heated steering wheel, built-in dashboard and remote start are standard nowadays, but the CD player on the dashboard has been discontinued. The heated rear seat is now also a standalone choice. Experts among us may disagree, but the basic inline six-cylinder powertrain with a turbocharger on the 740i is perfect for this car's laid-back nature. It still provides a lot of intelligence when you need it, but apart from that it's quiet and smooth, so that's what I recommend. Plus, the lower starting price frees up your money to purchase some of the features of a luxurious interior. And we'll splurge on the Driving Assistance Professional Package in Semi-Autonomous Driving Mode which comes in handy in traffic jams so you can relax and let the car do some of the work. For decades, BMW's interior aesthetic was serious and straightforward. It was acceptable when the cars were more about the serious driving business. Lacking that ethos, the new 7 Series gives residents the bandwidth to pay attention to building quality, materials and design that are only average for this wealthy class. Sure, it's spacious, but so are every limousine in this class. It's luxurious, but around on the Mercedes-Benz S-Class or even the Genesis G90, and you'll want more from a car that starts way north of $80,000. Volumetrically, the BMW trunk has competitors such as the Cadillac CT6 and G90. Its 18 cubic foot trunk is at least 2 cubic feet larger than the trunk of the sedan, but the fact of packing it in a real-world size tote bag reveals different results. We could only fit three of our carry-on cases in the trunk of our 740i test vehicle, while the others carried twice as much. In recent years, the BMW 7 Series has evolved from a sports sedan to a luxurious luxury, and the 2021 model has followed suit. Its soft suspension, quiet cabin and indulgent luxury features make it an attractive limousine for affluent shoppers, most of whom wouldn't mind if their driver wasn't overly entertained by the car's nearly lifeless helmet. A number of powertrain options are offered, from the 320 HP inline 6 to the fire-breathing twin-turbo V12. But no matter which factory is lacking, the 7 Series remains a calm, collected explorer who won't break a sweat on the long journey and will leave you feeling refreshed and relaxed when you reach your destination. The engine and transmission are at the top of our short list of highlights here. Each one, from the 740i 320hp turbocharged inline 6 to the crazy M760i 601hp twin turbo V12, is extraordinarily smooth and feels more muscular than official horsepower figures suggest. Even the 745e plug-in combination of a turbocharged six-cylinder engine and an electric motor is powerful and capable of driving in a natural feel that most hybrids don't. Each Series 7 features some variation of the same 8-speed automatic transmission. All-wheel drive regardless of the driving mode of the car you choose, it has soft suspension and limited body control. The 7 Series had adequate cornering grip, but suspension movement in general and rigid, light steering in particular hindered their exploration. If it weren't for the thirsty 12-cylinder M760i, the Series 7 lineup as a whole would have had impressive EPA fuel economy ratings. The 740i and 750i six cylinders delivered better than average fuel economy on a 200-mile long real-world highway fuel economy test route at 30 and 29 mpg, respectively. The 745e plug-in hybrid model uses a 12.0-kWh battery pack that sits in the trunk and is said to provide up to 16 miles of electric drive alone. Packages can be refilled using a fast charging system of 110 volts, 220 volts, or DC, the last two ways are the recommended ways to quickly add juice. BMW's iDrive infotainment system has long gone beyond the initial problem of teething into a straightforward and attractive interface. The latest version, dubbed iDrive 7.0, can be manipulated via the touch screen or the quick and intuitive controls on the center console. Each Series 7 offers two USB ports for the front seat passengers and four 12-volt plugs scattered throughout. Bluetooth is standard, and a Samsung tablet with a dock between the rear seats is optional, giving passengers remote access to several infotainment features. Apple CarPlay is standard, oddly enough, Android Auto is not available. 